being in Jersey, playing at Rutgers, a lot of my family's here. I just want to stay close to my friends, stay close to my family, and really my mom and dad went here. That's the biggest thing for me. I always wanted to follow my dad's footsteps. My first scholarship from Rutgers was for basketball. And I was like, I'm not playing basketball, I'm a football player. But I was heavily recruited. Penn State Rutgers was, you know, in the mix. Gary Melton still going. He has the sideline. If he gets the block, Melton could go. Someone asked me, do you want to play for Penn State or beat Penn State? And it just sounds so much better <laughs> beating Penn State than playing for him. Being an athlete at Rutgers was just phenomenal. I graduated high school in 1989. I knew that I was going to stay home. Jersey strong, that's all I can say. It's just like, what better state to play for? My dad has old tapes on his VCR. He can show us what he's doing. My mom, she doesn't have a lot of tapes, but when the tapes do come up, I see how my mom plays ball. I'm like, mom, he's pretty good. I ain't what I used to be, but I can still shoot. <laughs> she got the bragging rights. She's a conference title champ. She's a two-year captain, so she got it right now. She's the baller. I never even thought about it, really. I just thought about just competing for Rutgers, but I never thought, you know, on that level. But yeah, so now I'll be bragging forever about it until they get one. I was hoping to get one of my sons to play basketball. It just ended up being football. I think they wanted to follow in their father's footsteps. But watching his older brother playing really set the stage. i never forget one game we went to, and isn't this kid running down the sidelines, and Bo's sitting on the sideline uh, with my wife at the time, and runs on the field and tackles the kid. <laughs> and so I knew then, I said, oh, he's gonna be all right. <laughs> Growing up, I wasn't really recruited to my junior year. First offer was Old Dominion, and really, just going and keep flowing through the process, my dad really walked me through it. When I got the offer from Rutgers, it was different, because my dad went there. My husband and I, we are just Rutgers people. And we never really forced him to go to Rutgers. It was pretty much his decision. But I think it became a lot of pressure for him at that time. I was actually in the car with my mom. I was like, Mom, I just want to go to Rutgers. And I just told her just like that. And my mom stomped on the brakes, hit my head on the floor. And I'm like, food? Like, what? You are? And it was just so joyous at the time. It, it was great. And boy, yeah, it was that moment. Smiling from ear to ear. I got friends around. My son's going to Rutgers. I'm, you know, I'm walking around just bragging. <laughs> My son's going to Rutgers. J.K. Dobbins, 18-yard touchdown run. And they'll call it a touchdown. And folks, it's getting ugly early. Yeah, it was a lot of struggling early on. You know, um, the process is not easy. It's not easy playing in the Big Ten. I've always taught my children that we don't lose. Regardless, we do not lose. I always say to them, we're either winning or we're learning. They went through a, a, a stiff learning phase, three years of learning. My mom always told me something. She told me loyal, loyalty is everything. And for me to stay here for the longest time, she's like, it's going to pay off. Soon, my playmaking ability has to come. Looking for Melton toward the end zone. Loyalty is everything. You've made a decision, stick with it. It'll work out some way, some form. At practice, you went to work. After practice, is getting throws in, just trying to get connections. That's all we did. Throws it over the middle. Juggles caught. Melton off to the races to the 30. Adios, compadres. Touchdown number two of the day for Bo Melton. He's the next level type football player. And as long as he continues to develop in that fashion, the world is his oyster right now. And now they're going to throw it across the field again to Melton. And Melton has a lot of speed and he's got a lot of space. Ball Melton, 10-5 touchdown. Really with this staff that came in, they gave me the opportunity to make plays. A lot of people can see what I can do with the ball. And he's looking for Bo Melton and he finds him and it is big plays of plenty. Listen to my mom and dad really elevated my game and a lot of people are seeing that and I'm just happy. A good job defensively. You saw Bo Melton, that's his brother, the freshman Max Melton, in the corner making a nice tackle. At first, Max picked Purdue, and I was just happy for him that he got a scholarship and went to college. For the next three to four years, 
I'll be taking my talents to Purdue University. Yes, sir! All my props go to Purdue. They have everything I wanted in the college, but when it came to it, I was just a Jersey cat. Just looking my dad in the eye and him knowing that Shiana was the one to trust, I was like, all right, if my dad says it, you know, I can believe it. You can't say anymore that Rutgers is not all in. Rutgers is all in. Once Coach Shiano came in, I looked at my youngest and I pretty much thought I said, oh, I'm not gonna have to sell Rutgers to you. He'll, he'll do it, trust me, <laughs> he'll do it, and he did. Me and him playing together was the biggest thing and when he committed here, my fan was super happy and it was like the legacy continued. Good snap, seven minutes gone by third quarter. This time to the right side. First down, 27 yard line. Time out for an injured player. Maybe Bo Melton who's down here for Rutgers. I was on the bench and the trainer come over and was like, oh, that's your brother. And I just automatically knew like, oh, he'll be fine, but I'm gonna go over there just keep him company. He even though I was there, but I just wanted to be there. I kind of found that out on Twitter. I even know he's behind me, to be honest with you, until I got up. I thought he came from the sideline, and he was he was behind me on one knee. I told Bo, I said, I'm not retweeting it, just because I get overcome with emotion. Just to see, you know, Max with him, and then it captured in a moment, you think about a lot of things. They've been close like that forever. There's a funny video of them. Um, one was playing the drums and one was playing the guitar. They've always played together like that. They've always made up their own games. They just had that connection. And um, little did I know that they would be in the same school and college, still playing at the same time and taking care of each other. So that photo meant a whole lot to me when I saw it. That's what family is all about. I would say, yeah, you can pass the torch, but it's really just him just going there and finishing what has been started from my parents. It's gonna be a great story, seeing us grow through our whole life. And just seeing a cap at the end of it, of my little brother, it's gonna be a great story.